Hi, we're here at the District Youth Rally at the First United Methodist Church in Hollidaysburg. Today, I'm going to be speaking with Megan Heitzelman, who is the theme speaker for the event. Can you tell me a little bit of a sneak peek about what you're going to be talking about today? All right, uh, I'm going to be talking about Unite to Ignite and uh, kind of going to be comparing uh, my passion for lacrosse and being united with my team to uh, being united with the people in your church and your church community to just go out and spread the news of Christ. Um, and what made you want to get involved with the Young People's Ministry Council? Um, well, YPMC puts on all of these events. We used to do Confirmania and we used to do retreats. And one of the things that I noticed was Confirmania needed a little bit of help. So I stepped in and helped out. And now we have these great rallies. And uh, everyone's just been working really hard to put these on. And it's just a lot of fun being able to go out and get people all over the state just excited and being able to have everyone meet each other. What's different about the district youth rally from other events that you put on? The district youth rallies, it's people that are in youth group. It's not just for kids of confirmation age. It's not just for kids that are juniors and seniors. It's for everyone. And it's just people from all the different churches in each district and not just a few youth groups or just a few kids that want to go to camp. All right. Well, thank you for sharing, Megan. Evan, what caused you to get involved with the Young People's Ministry Council? It was actually, it was an adult friend of mine, and it was completely on a whim. He just handed me the application and said, you should join this. And, well, then I was hooked. <laughs> so this youth dis district youth rally is one of the events that you get to plan. What other kind of activities do you do? Well, in the past, we've done retreats for youth groups. They can bring us in and we'll lead a retreat for them. We've done a lot of stuff with confirmation. Obviously, that's a very important part of the lives of youth. And we do a lot of work at annual conference. Um, what are some of the activities that are going to be going on today at this event? Well, we do our best to keep a balance of education and games. So we're going to have a lot of games, a lot of fun stuff for the kids to do, which I love. Everything should have games. But we also are doing a very intensive discipleship piece because I think we have a good theme and a good message for these kids to walk away with. Can you tell me a little bit about the banner? Were you involved at all with the making of that? Well, it was my job to put it together because I'm the only one tall enough to actually reach the top. Uh, the banner itself, what I really love about it is the way it illustrates our theme, which is Unite to Ignite. Each puzzle piece is a way that you can get involved in your church and ignite your heart for God. And it all comes together in one united puzzle. Very nice. Well, thank you so much for sharing, Evan. Thank you. All right. Welcome, Mason, to the District Youth Rally. Um, what are you looking forward to most about learning today? Learning more about God and what he does for people. What youth group did you come with? I come with uh, Second Avenue United Methodist Church from Mount Tuna. You didn't have to travel too far then. <laughs> uh, how many youth came along with you today? I think we had uh, about maybe 15, 7, 16 maybe. Great. And um, what age ranges do they range and how old are you? Uh, from like 12 to 19 and I'm 17. Very cool. Have you ever been to a large district event like this before? No, this is my first time. All right. Well, we hope that you learn lots of great stuff and have lots of fun. Thanks so much, Mason. Pastor Allen, you're one of the youth leaders that's here today at the district rally. Uh, what made you want to get involved with youth ministries? Well, I've had a heart for youth ministries for a long time. And as a pastor, uh, I see the need for uh, opportunities to bring our youth uh, in off the streets and to give them a, a way to focus on Christ and to learn about Christ. How did you hear about this youth rally? Well, it's something that uh, it was published through our district newsletter. And so... Uh, being part of the district, it was an opportunity for me to bring uh, some of the young folks from our church uh, here to meet with some folks from other churches that they might decide really what they have in common and, and work toward, uh, work toward that, that communion together. Do you ever see the kids form a more long-lasting relationship after events like this? Absolutely. Uh, a number of the girls that we brought today uh, know folks that are here already from camp and from different events around the district. And so it's kind of like old home days. We get to come to a reunion and, and have fun in, in doing that. 
That is neat. Um, I actually never really thought about that, about how they might have known each other from camp and then get together at a rally like this. Um, that's really neat. To, they don't get to see each other just that one time, but then throughout the year, too. So, um, And what are you really looking forward to learning here today? Well, to how we can connect our young people to each other so that together they can learn and grow together and, and become more involved not only in the church of the future, but to figure out how it is that they can plug into society and make a difference in, in, uh, in the way that they live their lives and, and they impact the world. Absolutely. I'm really excited to see what we have um, in store for us today, and I thank you for sharing with us. If you want to learn more about district youth rallies and more about the, um, the Young People's Ministry Council in general, you can check out my Facebook page or my blog at susquehannaexpress.blogspot.com.